On our trip to Valdez, we used the longest highway in the state, the Alaska Marine Highway, which has been serving this land since 1948. The Alaska Marine Highway began in Haines as a privately owned ferry company back in 1948. The government bought the business in 1951 and expanded its capabilities. The Marine Highway is now part of the National Highway System funded by the federal government. Using 11 ferries, it covers 3,500 miles, servicing all the way from Washington State to the Eastern Aleutians. Unlike the vacation focus of the many cruise liners that use these same waters, the ferry system has found its niche in basic transportation. And in the case of the Chenega Ferry, fast transportation. We didn't know what kind of reception we'd get from Alaskans, but frankly, the people in Cordova just love to get to Anchorage and go to Home Depot and get back. And so it's been a hit with them too. Gosh, from Cordova, it was a, a minimum of a six and a half hour trip. And now we can do it in about three hours, cut that time in half. They'll take an empty pickup truck and a trailer and uh, come back with everything you can think of. Even when the tourists are hot and heavy, I'd say we've got about half locals on here because it's summer for them too and they've got stuff going on and they want to get it done. The Chenega is one of two fast ferries on the Alaska Marine Highway. Even though it can hold 36 cars, trucks, and campers, this boat can fly. It's 235 foot all aluminum catamaran with uh, four or 5,000 horsepower engines that are coupled to jets. Fastest I've seen this boat go is 46 and a half knots, which is 50, 56 miles an hour, somewhere in there. We were light on fuel during a training op and um, we had the wind behind us and it was pretty neat, <laughs> pretty fast. Love the speed. Can't go wrong with speed. Well, heading home from a beautiful trip like Valdez is one time a slow ferry would be okay too.